stove out today. Firebox stove. This is the G2. This is the original model, the stainless steel model. They have a um, titanium model, I think, now. I started up with a little bead of my fire starter. Got some pine cones in there, some wood. And I'm um, just waiting for that to burn up and make some hot coals. And then we're going to just put on a, uh, a canteen cup and make some Lipton soup. Because it's nice and chilly today. So I thought I would make that and show you this stove where you could feed wood in here. You could put it in through the top. It's got a little dish there at the bottom. It's got the little pegs you could put through at different heights, depending on what you want to do. So the canteen cup will sit right on top of there. And um, it should work out really good. But you've seen a number of videos on my channel with this. You could use alcohol in here. Uh, you could use Esbit tablet. You could make a fire. You could use pellets. You could use charcoal. It has a grill top. Uh, just a lot of things you could do. This is a perfect SHTF survival type stove. So we'll come back. Let's get our canteen cup and our water ready and get it on. Tell you what, guys, dried pine cones burn pretty good. Get all water in here. And let's get our Lipton soup there, ready. Throw another pine cone on. Let those coals build up, get nice and hot. I said we could feed wood through the sides here just like that then as it burns just keep feeding it in this hardwood will burn a lot longer than the pine cones You hear that hardwood going. So as that burns, I can push that through. I'll set the canteen cup on here. And then on. And we'll let that boil up a bit and we'll be right back. Guys, one of the things you can do is when you're making something like this uh, Lipton soup that has pasta in it, where it has to boil, once you get the water to a boil, you can take the canteen cup off the, off the fire, put it in a cozy, and leave it for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, and it'll cook while it's in the cozy. It saves you uh, from having to 
keep the fire going longer or feeding fuel in or whatever. Uh, like what I'm doing now is I'm just pushing the sticks in and um, you know that'll continue burning. It's almost ready to go into the cozy now. So um, if you have one made, that way you save time, put your meal aside while the pasta's getting soft inside the cozy and continuing to cook, you can, you know, you could do something else, you know, or just hang out and uh, wait for it to be done. So I cooked this with a couple of sticks, a couple of pine cones, um, one shot from the fire steel right here and some fire paste. Got the fire started, one, two, three, and um, get ready to have some hot soup. Okay guys, here's the pot cozy. So this is, I made this for a canteen cup. So there's a top and a bottom. I'm trying to do this with one hand is no good. I'll put the camera back on the, here we go. So the canteen cup goes right in here. I have a video on my channel I'll put in the link to show you how to do this and then you cover it with the with the top just like that and so it'll the heat that's contained in that will uh, continue cooking whether it's oatmeal or whatever that way you don't have to keep your you know boil time going with the fire a really long time which saves you uh, like I said fuel and then you could free yourself up to do other stuff but we'll finish these burning these sticks off and by that time it'll be time for this to go I'll try and give you a view of the top of that you see it's got the fire grate down there uh, catching all the uh, ashes so nothing's really coming off my bricks that I have here so there's no problem with that and uh, my pegs are through those top holes there so it's perfect height for the canteen cup and there you go a look at the, the base of the stove coming up. And guys, I could take this off now and put it in the cozy. I just wanted to let the rest of these sticks burn out. I'll show you that this is ready to go. So that's ready to go in the cozy. Wait about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and we'll be going. So let's get the camera back on the tripod and I'll put this in the cozy and show you how uh, I cover it up. So there we go, we got a rolling boil. So we'll take this off. We'll take this off the fire. You see this has the cutout for the butterfly handles. So I'll place the canteen cup into there, push the butterfly handles closed, and then put my lid on here and push it down. And there you go. So now my canteen cup with the food inside, whatever's in there that has to continue, you know, letting the noodles get softer doesn't have to stay on there and keep burning or simmering. I can take it off, put something else on the stove, uh, make a side dish and put this aside in the cozy while it's um, getting ready. So that's my video today, guys, on the um, firebox stove. And uh, just wanted to get out here. It's nice and cold out, or chilly out rather. And uh, show you guys how to do that. We had of ourselves uh, some hot soup. All right, guys, sorry about the lawnmower sound in the some of these videos. Hopefully, it'll come out good. But at any rate, we're on the table now. I'm going to take the top off the cozy. Just be careful. Sometimes it's a little hot. Um, but definitely, this is going to be hot, the canteen itself. But the cozy, you can see that. It's perfect. But ha I've had this for years. I keep a canteen cup inside of it so it doesn't get smashed up. But uh, let's take a look at our 
Lipton cup of suit. So you can see that's still really hot. And again, I could eat this right out of the cozy. I just want to see how the noodles are, how done the noodles are. Perfect. So it's in the cozy for about 10 minutes and um, it's ready to go. So that's the purpose, guys, of having a cozy. Again, some people use them, some people don't. I have them set up for a few of my pots as well. So if I made a bigger dish, I could put take the pot off the flame, put it in the cozy aside, and then cook something else or do something else. And I'd have to waste fuel, especially if I had, um, you know, like butane fuel or propane, something like that. Um, isobutane, you can conserve your fuel, put your stuff in a cozy, or another item that you could take with you is a small thermos type canister. Just get, the, get it to a near boil, put it in there, seal it off, throw it in your pack, continue hiking. You know, 15 minutes down the trail, you could stop and eat half, save the rest for later, it'll stay hot. That's another way thermos type cooking also. So that's the theory behind, you know, having the cozy. But, um, so I'm gonna enjoy this, uh, this hot soup, warm me up a little bit. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments uh, on this. And uh, I'll try to get this out of the cozy just so you can see the canteen cup. So again, there's the cozy, there's the cutout. You got a top and a bottom. There's my canteen cup. And um, you always wanna have some type of multi-tool, a bandana, a pair of gloves. That way you don't burn yourself when you start eating this. Actually, the handles aren't even that hot. And I just don't want to mess up my glass tabletop here. So I'll put it down on that. But again, this is piping hot, guys. I'm ready to go. And I got the Ted stew with me right there. Teddy, say hello to everybody. And I got Charlotte down here somewhere. There's Charlotte. She's camera shy today. And we're gonna, we feathered some wood with this um, Kershaw Camp 10 knife. Highly recommend for 50 bucks. Uh, split some wood with it and uh, made some feather sticks to get the fire started. And that worked out really good. So good, even though it's a 10 inch blade, easy to work with the way it's shaped and used it for camp chores. So, and of course the Leatherman Wave uh, just a basic military canteen and I've got my Retevis two-way radio because my wife's on this if she needs me she'll call me on this and um, it's good to go all right guys thanks for watching take care stay ready Anthony signing off